property taxes in New Jersey. Just the sheer mention of property taxes in our state just causes stress and nerves and tension and all of it. But let me tell you, Bergen County has 70 towns and there's actually some towns you might want to take a look at that have pretty low tax rates. I'm talking about all of those towns that you might want to consider that's coming up next. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Bob Jenis with EXP Realty here in Bergen County and Northern New Jersey. Hope you're all doing well. Thanks so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And seriously, New Jersey does get a bad rap for property taxes. In particular, Bergen County, which tends to have the highest property taxes in the entire state. So why the heck would you want to move here? And I say, why the heck would you not want to move to Bergen County? There's 70 towns here. There's a lot of opportunity, a lot of offerings. It's a great area to consider if you're looking in New Jersey. And some towns have great schools, other towns have a lot of amenities, and some towns have pretty high taxes. But there are some towns here in Bergen County that maybe you wanna take a look at because their tax rates are actually pretty low. So today I'm talking about, hang on one second, I got my list. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 12 towns, that's 10 plus two, 12 towns here in Bergen County that have some reasonable tax rates that you might wanna look into. So before I start to get into the actual 12 towns themselves, let me just kind of set the stage first. So in 2020, the median sold price of houses here in Bergen County was $520,000. There's towns where you're gonna find less than that, and there's towns where you're gonna find a whole lot more than that as well. The average tax bill, just so you know, was a little over $12,000 in 2020 as well. Again, not every town is going to have that, that's just an average. The other thing I looked at was the actual tax rates themselves. So you can go to the Department of Taxation, New Jersey's Department of Taxation, to pull these numbers. But the average tax rate here in Bergen County is about 2.296%. So basically to calculate your actual tax bill, what it might be, you know, this is kind of hit or miss. It gives you an idea of what it might be. You're going to take the price of a house and you're going to multiply it by a town specific tax rate. So if you're seeing tax rates at the two level and just below the two level, sometimes you actually have some that are at right below 1%. So could be good opportunity in regards to your taxes not necessarily spiking. So in fact, it could save you a little bit of money. So if you purchase in that town, you're not gonna see a higher increase in comparison to other towns potentially. But it is important to find out when an assessment might have been done just to give you some perspective of what the outlook of that town might look like. All right, so let's get into the 12 towns that actually have a 2.0% tax rate or below. The other stipulation to keep in mind here is when I start going through some of these towns, they have pretty high price points, a couple of them. So it doesn't mean that you're gonna be able to find a $200,000 house in a town that has multi-million dollar properties. It's probably not gonna happen, even though that town might have a really low tax rate. But there are towns that have a consistent, let's say, price range that are going to give you some opportunity, even though their actual rates, their tax rates might be higher. But they also have a pretty low price point. So yeah, you can find a good deal in those towns. By the way, one of the websites I like to refer my clients to is niche.com. It gives great information on all, any town, basically, that you might be curious about. Really helped me compile this list today. Also guys, don't forget, if you look down in the description of this video, you are going to find a bunch of free stuff. If you're a home buyer, I've got a couple of home buyer toolkits that you can download for free. Maybe you're going through the home buying experience and now you're getting into inspections. I've got a home inspection checklist. What towns here in Bergen County actually have higher rated schools, which actually came from niche.com. So be sure to look down into the description of this video. Feel free to click on any of the links and download those for free. All right, so basically I'm gonna take Bergen County, all 70 towns, and I'm gonna look at the 12 towns and where they're located. So I'm gonna kinda just separate out this clump of Bergen County. But the first three towns that I wanna talk about, there's two that are near each other, and then there's one a little bit further west. What's interesting is they all have really low tax rates. All three of them are under 1%. Mm. But with multi-million dollar price points, <laughs> You could pay 50,000, 60,000, 70,000, so hey, if you got the money. So the three towns are Alpine, you've got Rockley, and then you have Saddle River. Alpine and Rockley actually sit near each other. They're along the Hudson River, 9W, which is Route 9W. Alpine in particular is very popular with celebrities, so if you wanna live near Tracy Morgan, you wanna live near Chris Rock, here's your opportunity. 
price points are multi-million dollar. Very, very rarely will you find anything below a million. It's possible, but it's not very common. But Alpine's tax rate is 0.759, so it's under 1%. But cap that off with a $5 million house with you know four acres of land, you're gonna look at 50 to $60,000 in property taxes. Just north of Alpine is a town called Rockley, also very, very pricey town. Their tax rate is 0.871. And again, similar to Alpine, you're gonna have some pretty high property taxes there just because of how large the homes are and the price points. But then just west of Alpine and Rockley, kind of more central, north central, is a town called Saddle River. Again, pretty high price points here. You're gonna find some possible celebrities there as well, but you do have some opportunities in Saddle River, maybe to find some properties in high sixes, but they're not gonna be very large, but they're gonna go all the way up to at least a million dollars and more. Saddle River's tax rate is 0.959%, so also under 1%. But if you can find a property that's maybe not in that million dollar range yet, because there's a few there, you actually might find a pretty good deal and your tax rate might not go up as much at that 0.959%. All right, for those of us who maybe don't have multi-millions of dollars to spend on a home, there's other places that you can consider here in Bergen County. So let's focus on the eastern portion of Bergen, which really sits along the George Washington Bridge, the Hudson River, that specific area. Three towns you might wanna look at there. You've got Englewood Cliffs, you've got Edgewater, and then you also have Palisades Park. So Englewood Cliffs is right along the Hudson River. Great views of New York City, just spectacular. In fact, the median home value in Englewood Cliffs is almost a million dollars. And their tax rate is 1.151%, so pretty low tax rate. The thing about Englewood Cliffs, though, is you can actually find some possible deals. You might be able to find some properties in the high sevens, et cetera. So it just really depends. Is there gonna be a lot? Not necessarily, but there might be a deal that you can find there. Right nearby is Edgewater, and guess what? It's on the edge of the water of the Hudson River. And in Edgewater, you're actually gonna find a lot of rentals, you're gonna find a lot of townhouses, very robust area because there's shopping and you have the city view. So it's, it's actually a really, really nice area. Schools aren't too bad there as well. Again, go to niche.com for any of these towns that's gonna to be able to give you some perspective on schools in these towns. But there tend to be more rentals than there are actual ownership there, but you definitely can find ownership opportunities. Your median home value is about $600,000 there. And when it comes to the tax rate, you're at 1.945%, so just under 2%. So if you can find something in that six to $700,000 range, you might not be paying too much on taxes over time, so something to consider. So if you kind of come from Englewood Cliffs and that Edgewater area and you make your way down a little bit, you're gonna come into a town called Palisades Park. And in Palisades Park, you're actually gonna find some pretty good opportunities here. The median home value is $558,000 typically, and their tax rate is 1.543%. And what we're seeing in Palisades Park is there's a lot of conversion going on to duplex living. And if you don't know what a duplex is, it's like a side-by-side -side house and they're kind of put together. So one side is one family, one side is another family. Palisades Park also has a nice little downtown area. So you've got coffee shops and you've got restaurants and just a lot of activity kind of the center of Palisades Park. Conversions are happening. You're gonna find Colonials. You're gonna find some Cape Cods. You're gonna find some buy levels and split levels there too. So these three towns, Englewood Cliffs, Edgewater, as well as Palisades Park, you're close to New York City, easy to get into the city. You're near the George Washington Bridge, or you can kind of head down to the Lincoln Tunnel as well. Really convenient, very, very close. Hey, by the way, have you gone down into the actual description to download anything yet? Go into the description, make sure you download, it's free. All right, so we're going from the eastern part of the county where we just were, and now we're heading south into Southern Bergen County. Two towns I wanna to focus on here. The first town is Karlstadt, New Jersey, and then we're gonna talk about East Rutherford. So this part of Bergen County actually has a lot of activity as well. And what makes this area appealing is it's very commutable into New York City. And in Karlstadt, the median home value there is $408,000. So it could be pretty affordable. And another appealing thing is the tax rate there is 1.775. So it's under two, might not have major tax increases over time, so it could save you some money in the long run. So Karlstadt could be an option for you. And then right nearby, you have another town called East Rutherford. And the median home value in East Rutherford is $381,000.
and their tax rate is 1.819%. Now those of you who are sport fans and love football, you know that MetLife Stadium is in East Rutherford. So you're very close to the Meadowlands, which also has that new mall that opened last year, which is the American Dream Mall. And you're near all the shopping and restaurants that are on Route 17 in that area as well. What makes East Rutherford appealing is its price point. You're very close to the city, similar to Karlstadt, and you probably can find some pretty good deals here. You're seeing some fix and flips that are happening too. All right, next up, let's make our way up Route 17. We're heading north and we're gonna kinda go into the central kinda north section of Bergen County. Two towns we're gonna talk about next. One is Paramus and the other is Wyckoff. Just to give you some perspective, the median home value in Paramus is around $600,000. And their tax rate is 1.595%, so just under 1.6%. So a few things that make Paramus appealing. Number one are the actual prices of homes there. There are many homes that you're gonna find some pretty good deals. You'll find some properties under that $600,000 range. And you're gonna find some properties that are above that as well. But the town does offer some of these tax incentives and the tax rates tend to be lower. And here's one of the kickers with Paramus is the fact that Paramus is the central hub for shopping in Bergen County. But not only that, you've got Route 17, you've got Route 4, you've got 208 kind of, you've got the Garden State Parkway and they all kind of converge in Paramus. So traffic can really kind of be a lot, but there is space in Paramus. You are gonna find some really nice neighborhoods. Not every house typically is on top of each other, but you might be a little close to your neighbors. Schools are pretty good as well, so there's definitely some appealing reasons why people choose Paramus. We're also seeing a lot of flips in Paramus as well because of these tax breaks. Some of these smaller houses are being converted into actual larger colonial homes. So you'll see some beautiful architecture that's consistently and constantly being built in Paramus. All right, so like I said, Paramus is kind of central. If we just make our way up northwest a little bit, you're gonna come into a beautiful town called Wyckoff, New Jersey. Wyckoff's median home value is about $743,000. And their tax rate is 1.835%, so just a little over 1.8%. Now what makes Wyckoff very appealing is there's a great little downtown area. Homes are definitely a little bit more spread out, so you definitely have more land and space. Schools are good, shopping is good, you're near a lot of things as well. And when it comes to home prices, you can find things below that 743 and obviously above. There's some multi-million dollar properties that are in Wyckoff. But it's a really appealing town. More and more people are looking into Wyckoff because you can find some good deals there. All right, so wait a minute, what? You haven't gone down into the description to download anything yet? Come on guys, it's free. Home buyer's guide, home buyer's toolkit, an inspection checklist, top schools in Bergen County. Just go down in the description input your information, download it for free. All right, last up on our little trip here of Bergen County, I'm gonna take you to the Northwest section of the county. First up is Franklin Lakes at 1.648%, that's their tax rate. Median home values in Franklin Lakes tend to be about $946,000. So yeah, there's some high price points there, but at the same time, you are gonna be able to find some homes that are in the high sixes to low sevens. Might take a little bit more searching, but you can definitely find properties in that price range and not really get that jacked up tax rate. Franklin Lakes, another great town, kind of similar to Wyckoff. You're gonna get that nice open feel. Schools are well known as well and, and highly rated. And you're not too far away from major highways to get you to other parts of New Jersey. If you're heading upstate, you can easily get on 287 as well. All right, and the last town I wanna to talk about is in that Northwest section as well. A pretty large town, nicely spaced out, about 26,000 people. That's Mawa, New Jersey. You've got fantastic parks, beautiful areas where you can go hiking. The Ramapo Reservation is up there. It's just, it's, it's stunning, it's beautiful. Median home values in Mawa tend to be about $498,000. What you're gonna find in Mawa are some townhomes, like townhome developments, but you're also gonna find some multi-million dollar properties as well as some five to six hundred to $700,000 properties as well. Mawa's tax rate is 1.904, so just under that 2% threshold. One popular neighborhood is the Scotch Hill section, and another popular townhouse community is Apple Ridge. Also finding a lot of new construction up there as well. All right, so there you go, 12 towns here in Bergen County with the lowest tax rate. Like I said, Alpine, Rockley, as well as Saddle River, if you have multi-million dollars to spend, I guess $50,000 in taxes might not matter to you, right? But the nine other towns that I mentioned, you might be able to find some opportunities and not have 
those increased prices of taxes that might occur because you're under that 2% threshold. But keep in mind too, there's 70 towns here in Bergen County. These were 12 that I talked about today. Price point's obviously gonna matter to you if you're looking to purchase here in the county. But from a tax rate perspective, you probably have a better opportunity to not have your taxes go up as much if you're looking at a few of the towns that we talked about today. It might save you a little bit of money in the long run. So as always guys, if you have any questions whatsoever about real estate or Bergen County, Northern New Jersey, feel free to reach out. Here's my information. I'm happy to take your texts, your calls, your smoke signals, whatever it takes. I'm happy to answer any questions that you might have about the area. So again, everybody, I'm Bob Jennis with eXp Realty. I wanna thank you guys for watching and I will see you next week with my next video.